We're here today with THG Automation in Indianapolis to take a look at the tech integration services they provide to manufacturers. I'm Matt Hindy with THG Automation. I'm the founder and CEO. We build collaborative welding and cutting systems for commercial manufacturing. So we leverage that and we, we've added the functionality that our customers are looking for that goes beyond what our competitors are doing. The best thing our customers get out of using us for the tech integration of the collaborative robot with the welding is we package this up as a complete product. From the tech side and the product development side, we've tried to make this as user-friendly as possible for our customers. My name is Zach Van Meter. I am an owner operator at TMF Center. TMF Center manufactures primarily structural steel components for customers in the mining, construction, and uh, paving industries. You know, the pie in the sky, the holy grail, that thing we were chasing was automation. When TMF was looking at adopting new technology, uh, we reached out to everyone around us. We, we looked at all these analytics, we looked at all of our own data, we looked to the community to figure out what was working for everyone else. And one of the things that Connexus shared with us was the manufacturing readiness grant to where they would come in and cover a portion of an investment if it met certain criteria. We explained kind of our pain point or our need to them and they mentioned THG Automation. And that was kind of the start of a, a really beautiful relationship between THG and, and TMF that's been really effective. They came over here to our facility, they brought their parts. We were able to very quickly get their part programmed and running here without any extra tooling. I think we spent about 15 minutes being taught how to program the, the UR. We programmed it in about five, and then it performed the, 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 the complete weld out, created a ready to ship part with no grinding or cleanup required in about 30 seconds less than we had it quoted for. We didn't have a good way to scale the competency that we had developed in high volume weld automation to these service and low volume orders we were seeing. And as they sort of stacked up and up and up and up, we said, we don't have a capacity problem. We have a fabrication problem. We looked to the guy who was running this one part number and we said, okay, you've been here 15 years. You got one of the steadiest hands in the building and you're doing the same thing all day, every day on what is relatively speaking, a pretty simple part. What can we do in order to get some more throughput out of this as well as maybe utilize someone who doesn't have your same skill set? And so we kind of started to think as the, of the Koba as a prosthetic arm for a welder. You still need to have an eyeball. You still need to understand penetration, overlap. You need to know how to make a good weld you don't actually have to do it yourself. Our systems are collaborative, meaning the operators can work within this envelope of the robot. Uh, they can also take the robot and move it where they want it. And it's a lot easier to program than a traditional industrial robot. Got the first cell in. We really said it's going to run this one part. We don't really have a lot of changeover. It's not necessarily a high mix situation. But three years later, when we buy two additional cells from THG, we sort of say we loved the success we had over there. But now we want to bring that into a more high mix environment. One of the things that I saw when I came here to buy those two cells was THG is doing some really cool things with positioners and with linear rails. I didn't know that you could use a cobot the way that they are. When a company is looking at technology, they need to be really cognizant of what they're trying to get from it. Start small, but keep your options open to expand from there. So I think that's the most important, is to be as prepared as possible with a concept and a dream and a vision.